Thank you. So we've taken a pause over the Christmas and New Year's holidays. Um, but Build Back Better, the fight for it will continue when you return to the Capitol. What are your expectations? Well, I think the Build Back Better bill, as is, is dead. Republicans unanimously voted against it in the House. Uh, we see Senator Manchin coming out. And I think there's other Democrats, quite frankly, in the Senate who are not comfortable voting for this bill. People understand that um, when taxpayers pay taxes, they expect certain things in return. And there are obvious things like national security, uh, making sure we have a, a strong defense, uh, making sure that we have money for quality education in our public school system, Medicare for our seniors, uh, and of course, infrastructure. We've got to modernize our nation and keep up with pace, and that brings GDP money and revenue in. Um, the issue is that Democrats now want to create unnecessary new programs, social programs, mm -hmm. welfare without work programs, uh, and other entitlements that we just simply cannot afford. And so I think this is going to be certainly a showdown. I'm sure that the Democrats are going to try to continue to push forward with various pieces of their agenda. But I will say this, Republicans have been very good at actually stopping major pieces of their agenda. If you look at what happened this year, we've exposed that Build Back Better law for what it was, mm -hmm. and, it was and it ended up dying because Democrats didn't want to support it. We also stopped using taxpayer money to fund political campaigns, all their um, radical campaign uh, election law changes, the anti-police measures, taking away qualified immunity from our police officers, packing the court, another okay. big one. Republicans have done a good job despite being in the minority. The setup piece from Lydia talking about the national debt approaching $30 trillion is stunning. What will it take to get both parties at a table at some point to figure something out? Well, I think Republicans are right when they say they want to see a balanced budget. If you're going to spend money because there's a necessity here, then you need to cut the money from somewhere else. One of the things that I've proposed is looking at making sure we are auditing these programs. The inspector generals have caught tens of billions of dollars in waste, fraud and abuse in money that's been spent in Afghanistan. As a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I talk about this all the time, about money that we're sending to other countries. Is it really being used for its intended purpose? Uh, and, and then look at the, the COVID relief programs, for example, how much waste and fraud and abuse have been identified there. You know, we need to make sure we empower these inspector generals. I've also introduced a bill to go after, you know, the states and municipalities of a million or more, like New York City, that receive a lot of federal funds to make sure that money is being spent properly. But I think it's right that we, we, we look to this, but the problem is the Democrats don't, are not fiscally responsible as we are. They want to continue to create new programs entitlements and give more money away, uh, where we're trying to say, hey, we need to be responsible here going forward and spend on the things that we truly need. The head of the Progressive Caucus in the House, Pramila Jayapal, writing in the Washington Post over the weekend, quote, this moment for the Biden administration and Congress can either lead to our greatest failure or our greatest success if we use every tool at our disposal to redouble our efforts to deliver for our communities with the most urgent needs of the American people as our guide. Success is possible. That in reference to the Build Back Better package, uh, either encouraging President Biden to use the pen to go around Congress or to continue to fight to get it through Congress. Uh, your thoughts? The people in this country elected representatives to do a job, and that is to go to Washington and vote in the best interests of their district. To try to take away that representative democracy is wrong. Uh, this is something you would hear uh, in my, my mother's homeland of Cuba, that unilateral dictatorship, that what the president can enforce these things and go around Congress. We will certainly be pushing back and fighting against that every single step of the way. Uh, look, we, we had a lot of successes in stopping bad policies. We have to keep a strong defense in 2022 until we we could take back the House the following year, and there can be a balance once again. Because what we know, particularly as New Yorkers, one party rule is no good, and we're seeing that play out in Washington right now. We're nearly out of time, but I want to put on the screen the Fox Business headline on gasoline prices looking at inflation heading into the new year. Gas Buddy says $4 per gallon in the national average, not out of the question in 2022. Major U.S. cities will likely feel the biggest impact. How does that inflation threat shape what happens on Capitol Hill in 2022? Yeah, major issue. And if you look at not just the gas prices, but inflation across the board compared to under the Trump administration, if you look at illegal immigration, if you look at all the issues uh, in comparison, 
from this year to last year, we are, are much worse off under Joe Biden. And we've encouraged him to pursue a more independent strategy when it comes to energy. Uh, let's let's do domestic exploration. The Keystone Pipeline was a major issue mm -hmm. uh, that he killed. Um, we cannot rely on foreign entities. We know that. Uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're continuing to, to push him to be a little more responsible and not only energy exploration, but bringing our supply chain home, getting people back to work, okay. securing our border, and addressing all these issues that are, are the top among Americans' thoughts. New York Congressman Nicole Maliotakis, thanks so much for your time. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.